my soul with my family, with my country, and I really want to go back home. I understand. <laughs> I just, Sorry. No, no, of course, it's, a, it's an emotional thing. We want to work in our country, we want to live in our people, uh, in our peaceful country, with, with our peaceful people. We have great people who is very nice, very kind, and we want to work for our country. Truly, I don't want to go to anywhere, but I, right now I have no choice. So you have your... You How old are you, Margita? I'm 45. So, uh, you're from Kharkiv? Yes, I'm from Kharkiv. You were born there? Yes, I was born there and lived and studied, lived all my life there. And what were you doing in Kharkiv before the war? I worked in the commercial bank and then I changed some uh, working positions. Uh, but I just lived uh, with usual normal life like all people did. So, uh, what? why did you leave Kharkiv? I lived because uh, uh, war came uh, into our earth, into our peaceful country. Uh, at 5 in the morning on the 24th of February we heard uh, hardly very scary uh, noise uh, and uh, nobody could understand what that. But uh, that noise, it can't believe, uh, it can't uh, compare to anything uh, else. It's not uh, a movie about, about war. It's, um, such a scary noise that uh, made a lot of people decision just to leave. Mm -hmm. Some people left at the first day of war. Some uh, people stayed, like me, for example, during some days. Some people keep going, uh, leaving Ukraine now. Yeah. Do you have family back home? My family is still in Kharkiv. Because I have old, uh, weak mom and she hardly moves, so uh, she can't go to anywhere. And my sister, younger sister, she takes care about her. Okay. No. And uh, any partners, like husband or anyone? Uh, no, I have many friends. Okay. Uh, I have no and many are, they f are they fighting in the war? Some of them, yes, but uh, most of friends, they uh, keep, uh, uh, keep going to take care about old uh, parents. And do you have any family from Russia as well? Because a lot of people in Kharkiv have Russian... Yes, I have a part of family. It's my cousin uh, with wife and two girls. They live in Petersburg, but we don't connect. We have... don't have any communication. So I truly, I don't know their position. Okay. Uh, so when you were in Kharkiv, before you left, how bad was the situation? A bit about what? Like in terms of the, the, wild, the attacks and everything? How, how ah, when I left, yeah. the situation was terrible, terrible because Kaki was under uh, attack uh, from the first day mm -hmm. until now. And some regions uh, which are uh, too close to the end of the city, uh, they were under attack uh, all time, day and night. And until now it happens. It it's go, keeps going to happen. Is your home safe? But My home is uh, almost safe, but uh, uh, we had weapon near the home and my uh, neighbors now have no uh, glasses uh, on their windows. Okay. But it's still safe. It's uh, almost near my home place. And uh, now I live even more uh, worse than I, I uh, lived in Kharkov those days because I understand that every next hour could happen, could something bad happen to my family. Yeah. So, uh, how did you leave Kharkiv? Like, when did you start and how did you come here? Uh, just some friends of mine, he called me and said, I took my three children and I'm in the train now. I said, oh my God, I even couldn't uh, imagine that you took uh, your children and ran away. And I said, okay, uh, I will think, because he offered to go with them. And uh, it was decision of 15 minutes. I just uh, took my passport and left because I understood that now Ukraine city, everything uh, is broken enough and uh, someone have to work 
and to support family. I lived not because of, of I was afraid. I'd love to protect, maybe to take part in protection, but somebody have to get job and get uh, and get, earn some money. So you left Kharkiv on a train, and where did you go from Kharkiv? From Kharkiv to Lviv. To Lviv. And from Lviv to Poland. So you crossed Lviv from Lviv, then you crossed on foot the border. No, no, no. Uh, all, all the way was train. by train. Okay, by so train. because there were trains at that point. Yeah. 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 <clears throat> okay, so you left because you want. And so, what are you doing here? Like, what are you? Are you working here now? Not yet. Not yet. I'm just uh, trying to analyze a lot of uh, much of information because I um, want. I think I probably will go uh, further towards to maybe to another country because I prefer English speak, uh, speaking country. Mm -hmm. Maybe Great Britain. Maybe Canada. Maybe uh, USA. I don't know. If uh, it happens, it will be perfect. But uh, anyway, my soul with my family, with my country. And I really want. To go back home. I understand. <laughs> I just, Sorry. No, no, of course. It's a, it's an emotional. We want to work in our country. We want to live in our people, uh, in our peaceful country with, with our peaceful people. We have great people who is very nice, very kind, and we want to work for our country. Truly, I don't want to go to anywhere, but I, right now I have no choice. So you have, you said you have friends who are still fighting for the country, right? Right. Do you think uh, Ukrainians should continue to fight or should they agree to Russian demands? No, no, no. I think, uh, I believe that we have to continue to fight because it's, it's our freedom, it's our democracy, it's our earth. We have our country during, we built our country during last 30, more than 30 years. So why should we let Putin's uh, uh, power be in our earth? We should fight. Of course, uh, there should be some negotiations about stopping the war. But uh, no way, no way on Putin's condition. No way. Where are you living in Warsaw now? I uh, lived in uh, with my friend in some uh, Polish guy's apartment. He took us from bus station uh, and thanks uh, for him. He helped us during a week and later my friends from USA, they uh, booked me a small room in the hotel and now I stay there. But soon I have to leave because I have to do something. Yeah. So by when do you think you will be able to find some? Have you enrolled with the Polish government because they are providing some support? Have you? No, 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 no. I, I try not to use uh, thanks Polish people, thanks Poland for warmth, for big, uh, huge hugs. They support and help us very much. But as uh, my friend, uh, they could support me a little bit with money, with uh, uh, place for staying. So uh, <clears throat> I just, for now, have some time to think, to analyze and to decide where to go.